I tell her, oh, I will give you a child straight teeth. But that's not my first priority. My first priority is your child's airway. Christian Gimenon is a pediatrician, um, he might even be a pulmonologist, he's the person who in the 70s first published on pediatric sleep apnea, before then people didn't even realize that children suffered from sleep apnea. Anything that would impair the lips coming together as easily and freely as possible and for the tongue to rest off the back of the airway um, could, could absolutely, you know, impact the way a person can move air through their nose, especially at night. In Brazil, they have something called the Freedom Inspection Law. What they have is a national referendum that babies are inspected at birth to see if there's at risk, mainly for breastfeeding, but also down the road, even if it doesn't impair breastfeeding, tethered tissues, lips and tongues, um, you know, can cause other problems. So it's just like take care of them immediately. And there's a big effort uh, to get that done in other countries as well. And they can be detected in utero on ultrasounds. There's evidence to show that, that tongue ties anyway. I'm, I'm not sure what evidence exists for lips. It, it actually would be good to um, be able to recognize it, to prepare clinicians and, and parents that this might be an issue that we'll want to deal with at birth. Well, how come? and it gives parents a chance to review what information is out there. Is this important? Do I want this procedure done on my child? I'm pretty aggressive at diagnosis. I don't treat, I refer, and I have a couple of people that are very competent to do a great, great job with it. Yes, it would. I'm, I'm very confident in saying that. I mean, if, if, if we could I detect and correct as early in life as possible uh, poor tongue posture and all that that means expansion of the jaws, relief of tethers, myofunctional exercises, breathing exercises, uh, diet, healthy diet, chewing hard food. If we could do all those things, um, I think we would significantly decrease chronic disease, uh, non communicable chronic disease.